Hey Aquarius, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me again. I truly appreciate you. Thank you for your likes, your subscribes, and shares. So Aquarius, let's get right into this reading. Today is 10 20 Okay, it is a Thursday. All right, so let's get right into the vibration of today for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Jupiter, Holy Spirit, Angels, and Ancestors. What is the highlight of the day? What is the message regarding the daily vibration for Aquarius Nation? So let's remember you can have Capricorn, Virgo, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini in your chart particularly. You don't have to, okay? And this reading is not gender specific, so always stand in your truth, okay? Use your discernment, all right? And let's get right into this Holy Spirit, Angels, and Ancestors messages for today's daily vibration for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Jupiter. Let's see what we get. Let's see. What do we get? Psychic abilities. Okay. So the psychic abilities card, um, of course, it talks about um, heightened intuition. It is also a question to pay attention to your intuition. See with your mind's eye. Okay. I'm also getting, um, I may be speaking about someone in your auric field. All right. I feel like um, you're getting, you're getting to the root of a matter when it comes to um, someone you are energetically connected to. Now, this could be a family member. It could be a friend. It could be a divine counterpart. It could be a boyfriend, a girlfriend. It could be your pet child, okay? It could be a neighbor. I'm also getting the energy here that I'm picking up on an empath, okay? So you could have cancer in your chart or someone um, around you does. I kind of feel the energy that you want to be alone today, Okay? to take some things in, digest it, think about it. There may be some things you want to let go too. So yeah, it's like, I'm kind of getting hermit energy. You want to um, kind of spend some time um, to yourself. You don't want to share energy and space today. Get on a little bit of hermit energy here. So you could um, definitely be feeling that way. Um, I'm also getting needing to take time for your own mental, physical, emotional self today. Let's see. Angels and ancestors, clear and concise messages. I feel that you're, you're going to take time to um, continue growing and elevating today. There's something about that. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see, Holy Spirit. The Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Wands, and the Death card. Yeah. It's time to fully let something go with the Wheel of Fortune here. Um, you're, you're, you're headed towards your destiny, right? But with the Ten of Wands here, you're letting go of all burdens. And again, I'm getting mental health. Like there's this energy here where you need to take care of self, right? And so it's like a, a energy of surrendering and letting go, okay? I also feel that you may, um, I don't know, be doing some type of exercise today to help you. And that exercise can be anything. It could be meditation. It could be actual movement, a lot of movement, um, like power walking or, you know, jogging, running, um, bicycling, whatever it is. It takes a lot of um, energy. But I do feel also with the death card here that, you know, there's a death and a rebirth happening, a completion happening. So for some of you, this completion is talking about how you are leveling up um, and transcending, okay, um, spiritually. Um, let's see. Bottom of the deck, we have the tower. So these are some major hitters here, okay. And under the tower, we have the sun, yeah. So there's a breakthrough, a continuum of a breakthrough here so that you can get um, fully enlightened with your psychic abilities. But also um, there's some type of new path you're going to be headed on. 
Aquarius, where things may have been rough or may have been hard, I feel like you're, um, there's a breakthrough here. Okay, and it could even have to do with someone in your energetic field in regards to a relationship. There's this energy of karmic, um, a karmic ending is what I'm getting. Okay, so um, uh, triggers may be, you know, fleeting. It's it's leaving. Okay, or you may be letting go and just um, accepting love in something like that. Okay, um, on today. So we have nurture it, yeah. There's an energy here where you're being asked to nurture yourself, nurture your abilities, nurture your body, nurture yourself mentally, physically, emotionally, um, eating right as well, okay? There's also an energy here where you may want to love on, love up on somebody. You let go of resentment or, you know, you let go of ill feelings or, you know, remember, roles can be reversed with flop transposed, okay? But the wheel is now turning in your favor. All right. The wheel is actually rolling over this ten of wands, rolling over the death and the rebirth to get to the tower. The wheel is going to break, help break the tower down so that you can get happiness, joy, peace, love, prosperity, abundance, healing, restoration. OK, so there's probably a breakthrough when it comes to whatever subject this is, a person, place or thing. <laughs> and most importantly, you. So just be free, Aquarius.